What up, guys? I am here to. I'm. Um. <laughs> Thank you, Nick, for having me. Hey, man. Well, there's always got to be an awkward moment at E3. Anyways, another year, another E3 has passed by, and we have a lot of anticipated games. So I'm gonna get right to the point and talk about the games I'm most anticipated for. First up is Battlefront 2. Now EA's promised in a campaign with a full story mode, an expanded universe so we can get most of the characters and stages from all of the movies, and free DLC. So really, there's nothing that could go wrong here. Oh wait, this is EA. They're probably gonna find a way to mess this up at a point, but that's yet to be seen, and we still got till November till it comes out, so hopefully nothing goes wrong. Now the next game on my list is Uncharted The Lost Legacy. I really don't want to talk about it much here. I pretty much got all my excitement out last year when they announced it, and you know, Uncharted Uncharted is a great franchise, it's one of my favorite franchises of all time, and I'm pretty excited for this DLC expansion adventure that they're doing with both Chloe and Nadine. Yeah, this looks pretty awesome. Now who the heck was crazy enough to come up with this idea? So I honestly thought I wasn't going to be interested at all in this thing, but then I saw gameplay for it, and it actually looks pretty fun. And you know what, I'll throw them a bone. I've been wanting a new Mario RPG for a while, and this actually looks pretty good, so hopefully it's as good as it looks now, but we'll see. So I'm not a fan of Assassin's Creed at all, but this is pretty much the boat mode from Assassin's Creed Black Flag as a whole game. My favorite part of Black Flag was the boat mode, and the way this game plays looks exactly like it was then. So hopefully this is awesome. Now the next Marvel vs. Capcom game does not look as amazing as I imagined it to be, but I did play the demo and it was really fun. I had a great time with it, but will it have a big roster of characters, or will it have a ton of stages, or will it have that replay value that I really love from all the other ones? I'm not too sure at this point but hopefully it turns out better than I think it does right now. Now I hate to admit it but Call of Duty is coming back to form and I love the way it looks. Will I be disappointed whatsoever if it's not as great as it looks right now? Probably not because it's Call of Duty but if it's good then that's awesome. See a Thieves for the third year in a row. I just want this game to come out and it's coming out next year so I'm gonna have to wait a little bit more than I thought I was but I really, really want to play this game. This honestly looks really fun because it looks like Rare's coming back to their roots and, and making a fun game that actually looks good. So I'm still excited for this game. So I don't play a lot of the Metro games. I never really got into them and I never really finished what I started in most of them. But this game looks pretty freaking amazing. Honestly, I had no idea what it was and when they finally revealed it was Metro, I was surprised. This game looks so fun and it looks amazing graphic wise. I really feel like I'm sometimes alone when I say I like The Evil Within, and I'm really excited for the sequel that's been rumored for a while now. And it honestly looks pretty good. Yeah, most of the trailer was CG, but I like the glimpses of gameplay I got. Yeah, it wasn't the greatest game ever, but I'm pretty excited for this. Now the first time I saw this game, I thought it looked just like Destiny, but then I saw the gameplay they showed off and it actually looks really freaking good. I honestly really like these online co-op games that they've been coming out with, and this honestly looks pretty good, visually and gameplay wise, it looks like fun. Now I love fighting games, and I love Dragon Ball Z, so this looks freaking amazing. What makes this different from all the Dragon Ball Z games that have been coming out for the past few years is that this is made by the guys who made the Guilty Gear series. And if you don't know, those fighting games are visually stunning and seeing their take on Dragon Ball Z with that system looks so great. And it looks like I'm going to have so much fun with this game when it comes out. I'm so excited for this one. It's been a long time coming, but Beyond Good and Evil 2 was finally announced this year, and it looks pretty freaking great. We didn't get any gameplay, we didn't get anything else but a CGI trailer, but just having it announced is awesome. I love that we're finally getting a sequel to this game, and hopefully it turns out great and worth the wait. Now some people are going to be arguing saying I shouldn't put this on the list, but I'm putting this on the list because I'm actually really excited. I never got a chance to play Shadow of the Colossus, and that's going to surprise a lot of people, but I've never played it before, and I've been wanting to play it for a while, and knowing that there's an HD remaster coming for it, that makes me excited, because everyone keeps telling me that the visuals of the game are amazing, so I'm really hoping I'm not let down, and I'm pretty excited to finally play this game that everyone's been wanting me to play. There's a lot of reasons why I'm excited for Days Gone, but I'm just going to show you guys. Fire! 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 
So yeah, that looks good. According to a lot of people, Nintendo won E3 just because they showed a title. OH MY GOD! YES! YES! Oh! 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 Yeah, I'm pretty excited too. Now I had a lot of fun with Doom last year and I'm so excited for Wolfenstein 2. This game looks so great. I honestly really liked the first one and this one looks like it's gonna up the ante for fun and a lot of bloody ways to kill a Nazi. And I know Bethesda's got this in the bag because this is coming out in October. That's super close and makes me more excited for it. <laughs> Far Cry 5 is set in America this time, and that gets me really interested in how the story could go, and how everything changes in this. For right now, I'm really interested in the story, and a lot of it looks really good. Honestly, to me, Ubisoft's best franchise at the moment is Far Cry, and I'm pretty excited for this. Everything. Everything about this game looks freaking awesome. You could turn into a Goomba, you could turn into a Hammer Bro, you could turn into a fish, you could turn into a T-Rex. You got a city, you got Mexico, you got everything in this game, you got a jazz band, you got jazzy music. Everything about this game looks freaking awesome. Nintendo, thank you. <sighs> alright, alright, I'm kinda overreacting right now. I'm just, just gonna catch my breath and... Now, I've never been a fan of the God of War series myself. I'm not into hack and slash games that go on like that for the whole game. It's just something that bores me at a time. But this game looks like it's changing the formula for good, and it looks really, really great. Kratos has always been freaking awesome, and the violence in God of War is always extreme. And just knowing this game is a third person point of view action game gets me really really excited and this game looks like it's gonna have a story that emotionally ties you to it and gameplay wise looks really really great i'm i've honestly never been excited for anything god of war related but this looks freaking awesome now number one is definitely the most anticipated game i've had in a long time marvel's spider-man looks amazing this is everything i ever wanted in a spider-man game ever since it was announced and ever since insomniac games announced that it was making it i've been wanting gameplay for so long and i was not disappointed with the e3 showcase they had for it it looks like the controls are really on point and that the gameplay looks really really great and what i can really get from it is that it really looks like the arkham games it's really inspired by those batman games which i love and i want to see what they could do story wise and not just gameplay wise i want to see a lot of villains in there i want to see a lot of things to do in there i want to have a lot of side missions to do in this game i hope this game is massive too like the map better be big I'm just so excited for this game, and it comes out next year, and I'm honestly pretty sad about that, but I guess I'm going to have to wait for this amazing game. Anyways, if you guys like this video, please be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and hopefully I make more videos like this soon, and hopefully you guys can tell me what games you're excited for in the comments. So, you guys have a nice day. I'll see you some other time.